Hello, my friends, and welcome back to our blind let's play. Uh, Phoenix Wright is attorney justice for all. My name is Flatless Bird, and this is your Storybeast Gaming Channel. And today we finish episode four. That's right, that's like the sole plan for today. Uh, Christmas time is right around the corner, and my my schedule is packed. Uh, we're going to be celebrating it partly early tomorrow on the 23rd uh, due to family issues. And then, of course, 24th and 25th. So my next three days are pretty well booked. And I wanted to make sure we finish this before I took like a mini break in case I don't have time to record any other videos. So what is my theory that I talked about here? Before I begin, I want to say I hope everyone's having a wonderful day and a wonderful week. Uh, if it is not Christmas time for you, um, you're watching this in the future, I hope you just have a wonderful week wherever you are. And of course, if you don't celebrate Christmas, I just hope you have a wonderful day and know that you are loved and you are cared for. And I really appreciate all that you've done. So my uh, theory that I was talking about in the last episode is thus. And I have a feeling this is what happened. Acro believes that Regina tried to kill his brother Bat, or at least severely injure him. I don't know why he would think that. Maybe he just thinks she's a cruel, evil child. But that's what I'm thinking, because it was mentioned that the tiger had a smirk, which means the tiger must have been trained to do what he did. So Acro, Acro who believes she uh, tried to murder her brother, calls her murderer in his note, gives her the note to set her up to go to that area to try to pick up the box and kill Regina. But the problem was, instead of killing Regina, he accidentally killed the ringmaster, which is really tragic because he really loved and cared for the ringmaster because the ringmaster took in him and his brother. So I think this is just horrible because, A, it's hard to think of Akko as a killer. But B, even if he did want to kill someone, he killed someone he loved, which is, man, that, that, that just, uh, that, that's gut-wrenching. Um, but anyway, that's what I think what happened. And we're about to find out. I don't care how long this episode takes. This episode may take an hour or it may take 20 minutes. But we're going to play through this entire episode. Don't worry. You didn't plan to kill the ringmaster at all, did you? The ringmaster wasn't your target that night. What did you just say? I'm saying that the target of the witness's murder spot was not the ringmaster. Because it was never his intention to kill Russell Berry to begin with. What? Uh, order, order, I say. Bailiff, I don't care who it is. Smack anyone who's loud in the face. Twice if you must. Mr. Wright, what in the world are you trying to do to my court? Ooh. Mr. Phoenix Wright, what in the world are you trying to do to this court? <laughs> uh, I kind of like that. She's, uh... She's trying to make sure the judge knows who's in charge. Are you attempting to apply that Echo was trying to kill someone else? Yes, she was trying to kill Regina. Regina Barry? Uh, this young girl is the Ringmaster's daughter, is that correct? Echo. You were really aiming for her that night, weren't you? Oh, the dots. You don't need to answer that. It's a mean-spirited, leaning question. Mm, nah, you could easily answer the question. If I'm wrong, all he really has to say is, you're wrong. And you know, that's it. Ah, that's it, huh, Mr. Phoenix Wright? <clears throat> Enough, uh, Mr. Wright, allow me to, uh... The only thing allowed to interrupt is me death itself. Only thing allowed to interrupt- Oh, okay, I misread that. 
The only thing allowed to interrupt me is death itself. Uh -huh. And that goes for you too, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Show me evidence. Now! I want to know why Aku would want to kill Regina Ferry. Alright, there's a bunch of different things we could show her here. And the problem is, we don't have a lot of hit points. So let me go ahead and save. All the exclamative dots. Oh uh, yes, uh, me too. I demand to see some proof. Uh, present evidence to prove Echo was out to kill this young girl. I think the evidence we're trying to use is either Leon or Bat. I'm gonna say it's Bat. All right, Mr. Wright. At this point, the only thing that's important is evidence. Oh, 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 I misread that. We had to show evidence, not profiles. This uh, better not be bluff. You got going to. Ew. You're not going to fool me, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Those two are finishing each other's sentences now. Yeah, we got hit. All right, so they want evidence, not people. Which means uh, we need to show the lo It's either the lion or the note. And I'm not sure which one is which. I think they're not asking for an alibi, so I'm gonna go with the note. Acro, you remember this, don't you? Yes, it looks like I deduced that correctly. That's... It's a piece of paper that we found inside the Ringmaster's tailcoat. Uh, inside the victim's tailcoat. Akko wrote this note. It's ironically entitled, To the Murderer. Its purpose was to call someone to the plaza at 10 o'clock p.m. Uh, so you're saying that he called Russell Berry with that note? Yes, but there's just one little problem. Uh, problem? Akko did indeed place his note into someone's pocket. However, that someone was not the ringmaster. You mean it wasn't for the... That's exactly what I mean. The person this note was intended for is none other than Regina Barry. Order, I say order, order! My Mr. Wright, that little theory of yours. It's the truth, Your Honor. It isn't a theory. But this also means that Regina accidentally set up her father to be killed without knowing she was getting her father killed. Oh man, that must... Oh, that, that's gonna destroy her too. That is, if she actually understands what death means. Uh, simply put, Regina didn't think the note was meant for her. Which is why, the morning of the crime, she placed it on the cafeteria bulletin board. That's why her father, I mean the ringmaster, saw the note. Yep, that's correct. The ringmaster ended up in the plaza instead of Regina. And he was killed because of that mistake. Instead of Regina. Well, that's, that's, uh, that's incredible. Remember the testimony that Akko gave us earlier today? Lifting the bust and looking out of the window would have been impossible. There's no way I could have exerted that kind of force on my lower body. If I were to do that, I'd end up falling out of the window myself. Akko had no idea who it was that arrived in the plaza, because he couldn't look down out of his window to see who it actually was. I got it, I got it. Akko thought it was Regina down in the plaza. And that's when he let the bus fly. Hey, uh, Nick? Isn't Regina listening to all this from the audience? She is. Unfortunately, it's only going to get harsher from here. I hope Regina can handle it. Uh, Echo wrote this note to, uh, Regina. Foolishly foolish fool with foolishly foolish full ideas of foolishly top foolery. You're so foolish you made me sound like a fool other fool. Very well, Mr. Phoenix Wright. If you're so sure, then tell us about this line. I have conclusive evidence of what took place. Uh, yes? What about that line? 
Well, if the note was meant for Regina Berry, it would mean that. This note is declaring that Regina Berry is a murderer. Well, you just don't get it, do you? What? What did you just say? The ringmaster knew what the note meant, which is why he went to the plaza in place of his lovely daughter. Uh, hold it right there, Mr. Wright. Uh, what is this incident that is alluded in the note? The incident six months ago. I know all about it. An incident occurred six months ago, and now I am more than ready to show this court what happened at that time. Mon! Uh, wait, are you sure that it relates to this present case? Well, it does indeed, Your Honor. Uh, everything in this case has its start and what happened six months ago. Really, Nick? I, um, I think so. Well then, if that's the case, hurry up and tell us about it. What is this conclusive evidence mentioned in the note? I know, I'd certainly like to know what it is. If I can't answer that question, the judge is going to think I'm bluffing. That's actually a good question. I don't know what the conclusive evidence actually is. The conclusive evidence about the incident six months ago is actually... Is it the lion? I mean, it's the only thing I can think of that happened six months ago, right? Uh, what? Uh, this is it? Well, um, I kind of figured that I'd try and get rid of evidence I didn't need anymore. Well, uh, from now on, you can do all sorts of those things at home on your own time. Oh, dear God, that's not it. Okay. Ugh, thinking cat, flightless bird. What is the conclusive evidence? I'm dumb. Wait. Wait. Are you kidding me? I never actually looked at this piece of evidence for some reason. Bat's, bat scarf stained with his blood and a small quantity of pepper. That's why the pepper was in the box. The pepper was in the box to basically say, ha, I know you murdered my brother with the pepper bottle. This pepper isn't in the box for any real reason on killing Russell Berry. The pepper was in the box as a way of pointing the sign to Bat Scar. Right? Um. No, no, that's gotta be it, though. I mean, it's gotta be it. There's something about this case I didn't realize, but... Oh, the dirts. Mmm, oh, the dirts. What kind of spicy joke is this, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Seems like I had I picked the wrong pepper. It isn't a joke at all. It's the decipher evidence you asked for. Oh, what do you mean? Well, recall that the victim was trying to take the wooden box away from him. Away with him. He was doing so because a piece of decisive evidence is what inside. Another unbelievable conclusion. Very well, Mr. Wright. So what exactly are you saying? Are you claiming when Jimmy Perry killed someone with a small bud of the pepper? Taking the note into account, that's the only logical conclusion you can draw. Objection! Foolishly fool who never ties to his own foolishly ways. If you're so sure, Miss Phoenix Wright, then answer this question. All right, this is probably gonna be the scarf. I'm gonna save just in case. Like I said, don't have a lot of hit points left. Who was Regina Perry's intended victim? Oh, that one's easy. That's a uh, bat. Uh, who is this? Well, that is Echo's younger brother. Man, this is flying by now. It's just like question after question after question. What does this prove? His younger brother isn't dead. 
Well, technically that's true. However, Bat has been in a coma for six months now. It's not a stretch to see how Akko could feel that his brother is dead. Yeah, I, I was, I say that, I see that as well. Uh, Regina, she did that to him? You spent your entire life dreaming up new ways to be a fool? Naturally, the prosecution has looked into Echo's brother, Shan Dingling. Six months ago, he was bit by a lion and fell into his current comatose state. Uh, the lion? Regina, I mean, Miss Regina Berry is an animal tamer by trade. However, no tamed animal in that position is ever trained to attack another human. They would not understand the command. Moreover, Miss Regina could never do something like that. It's just not in her. What if Regina seasons her food with pepper? So the the, the, the Pavlovian experiment where the uh where the psychologist rings a bell and the, I believe it's the rats expect food. Um, what if it's the same idea? What if what if she trained the lion to respond to pepper as a meal? And then when she, she sprinkled pepper onto Bat's uh, scarf, and that's why the lion smirked, because the lion thought that he was getting a meal when, in fact, it was, you know, Bat. Wow, this is devious. You know, it's funny, because I start this episode by saying, I know everything about this episode, I know exactly what happened, and I, know, and I can explain it. And yet, the more I play this game, the more I'm like, man, this just gets deeper and deeper and deeper. That's why I love this game. This game is so good. Um, I mean, all of these games. This series is so good. And I know there's a lot of uh, talk in our comment section about, you know, is this a good case or not due to the luck and the coincidence and all that. And I see both points of view here. And I've said this as well. I can see why some people would like it and some people would dislike it. Here's my personal opinion on this case so far. Yes, there's some coincidences. Yes, there's a lot of luck or unluck involved. Yes, I can understand how this can infuriate some people into thinking that, you know, if that bus had not got snagged on the cloak, none of this would have been necessary. And I do wish Akra would have been a little smarter and maybe put the cloak on the bus himself. So that way he pulls up the bus and that way it looks like, you know, he's fine away. But if he had. Then the ringmaster would have been wearing the cloak and everyone would have saw that the ringmaster wasn't Max. So there needed to be a little bit of luck in order for this case to work. And at the same time, I kind of don't mind that. Yeah, it makes it so that logically you can't figure out the puzzle very well. I mean, that's a criticism of the show Sherlock. If you ever see a show Sherlock on BBC, which is an amazing, amazing show. There's some times in that show where Sherlock gets the answer because he never told us the things he was thinking. So we were never also led on that logical journey. And it makes it feel cheap at the end sometimes. I understand that. But at the same time, I'm still entertained. And I hope you guys are too. Moreover, Miss Regina could never do something like that. It's just not in her. Hmm, uh, so then what happened to Echo's brother? He's not the victim of an attempted murder. He's a victim of an accident. I see. Now what do we do? No one seems to be going along with your theory. Do you think what happened to Bart was Bat was actually an accident? Uh, it was more than that. I think she didn't mean for the injury to be as severe. I think she just did it as like an evil prank. Like she doesn't understand how things work. I mean, I know that sounds naive, but I mean... Based on what we know of Regina, naivete seems to be her character personality. The lion biting bat was no accident at all. Uh, what? You're such an amateur, Mr. Phoenix Wright. There is no way that Regina would ever entice an lion, lion to attack another human being. She may not have incited the lion to attack another human being. But Regina is responsible for making the lion bite Aqua's brother back. Take that! Oh, that's, that's just a scurf. Aqua. Pull the dots. This scarf is something that Bat used to wear, correct? That's right. 
And who was the one that gave the scarf to Bat? For Regina. Regina gave it to him. Aha! Uh, Regina. There is something more than just blood on the scarf, Your Honor. And uh, what might that be? Pepper. Uh, Pepper? Pepper. I hate Pepper, by the way. I can't stand Pepper. Regina gave the scarf to Bat right before the accident. And she covered it with as much pepper as she could. All the dots. Oh, the dots? Oh, the, uh, I don't understand dots. Oh, the, what is this attorney talking about dots? Ah, the bird's pecking at me again. I love it. Hey, uh, what's with the silent treatment? Um, uh, excuse me, Mr. Wright. Uh, you've done a good job of figuring, the, uh, fingering a criminal. But out of curiosity, what was your crime? Um, can someone get this bird off of my forehead, please? Uh, Miss Barry gave you a pepper-covered scarf to bet as a present. Where's the crime in that? Still seems like the judge just doesn't get it. All the dots. Mr. Phoenix Wright. Seems like she gets it, though. Wasn't it said that the lions seemed to be smiling? Uh... Uh, smiling. The lion was, uh, smiling. Right before Bat was bit by the lion. For a moment, the lion's smile changed and it looked like it was smiling. What if it was sneezing? Lions, uh, smile? I've never heard of them smiling. However... Lions sneeze. Uh... Leon wasn't trying to bite Bat at all. Oh! In reality, all he actually did was sneeze. Oh! God, it's clever. I did not. I did not put that together. So that wasn't. Oh! He sneezed because of all the pepper on the scarf. What? You fool! <laughs> Ooh, the, uh, dirts. You've got to be kidding me. Objection! Oh, the objective dots! What's the matter, Miss Van Kroma? I, I, I object for objection's sake! Mr. Phoenix Wright, you, this theory, you believe it? Do you really intend to say that this is how this joke of an accident actually happened? Of course I do. It's the truth. The lion sneezed due to the pepper, and that's when Bat lost consciousness. Akko nearly lost his brother due to this accident, or this joke, as you put it. Which is why he tried to get his revenge against Regina. You foolish idiot! Ha. Ha, ha, ha. It almost does seem like a terrible joke, doesn't it? Once again, I'm impressed by your imagination, Mr. Wright. He's still going on with this? All oh, the exclamation dots. Does this guy never give up? To think that there's someone who treats this accident with the respect it deserves. Are you telling me what I said was true? All oh, the dots. A acro. You don't mean. You can't mean. Witness! Uh, are you confirming the defense's claim? Mr. Wright, unfortunately, your imagination is not guilty and not enough to find me guilty of murder. Uh, what do you mean by that? The pepper, the scarf, the lion. I see where you're going, but it's a bit hard to swallow. Not to mention the fact that there's an even bigger problem with your theory. Uh, what would that problem be? The same problem it's always been. Evidence. If I drop Max's bust on top of the ringmaster... Where is the evidence that proves that claim? Um... I'm sorry, I'm distracted. There's a bird pecking my head. <laughs> oh, come on, bird. 
I'm flightless. I'm no harm to you. Don't be jealous of me. I should be jealous of you. Look how easily you fly in the sky. Hmm. You mean uh, the uh, conclusive evidence? The biggest problem is the murder weapon. Or the lack thereof, to be more precise. The murder weapon. The uh, bus the defense claims is used. But that were to be found in Echo's room. And if it was covered with the victim's blood, that would be too awfully conclusive in my eyes. Yes, it would be. The bust. Nick, you gotta do something. This is the last step. If I get this one, my, the case is won. Um... Here's the question. This is a good question to ask. Hold on, hold on, hold on. My brain's working. Akko's in a wheelchair, right? He's unable to leave his room without help. The monkey steals shiny objects. The bust got into Akko's room because the monkey stole it because it likes shiny things. The monkey would not take the bust out of his room because he likes shiny things. Akro can't leave his room because because he's handicapped. Oh, he's in a wheelchair right now. So there's no way Akro could have gotten the bust out of his room after this incident. Um, my screen is frozen. Uh, my, 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 I'm sorry, guys. My, my recording just froze completely. Uh, nothing is working. Uh, let me, uh, I hate to do this. Dang it. So this is the first time this happened. I can't even, I can save, ironically enough. This has never happened to me before. I can save. But nothing's working on the screen. Um, let, let me go ahead and restart my uh, recording. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back and I can move my uh, thing around again. Yay. All right, so I want to request to search Akko's room because I think that's the solution here. The defense requests to search the room of the witness, Ken Dingling. <sighs> what is it now? It looks like you still haven't figured things out yet, have you? By now, you must know the meaning of Von Karma Total Justice. Uh, you mean... If Von Karma never leaves anything to chance. You already searched Echo's room yesterday. Uh, what did you find? There's no reason to even say it. If we found what we think we found in that room, Echo would not be here as a witness. But to put a point on it. Max's bus was not in the room. The murder weapon is still unaccounted for. You see, Mr. Wright, the bus wasn't in my room. Furthermore, Detective Dick Gumshoe executed the search by complete surprise. And we took Echo directly to the prosecutor's office after that. Oh, great. End of story. J just wait a second. Something's funny about all this. Ha 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 ha. It looks like you lacked the finger, the final nail to put it into my coffin. But, but, what about the scarf? What about the note? What about them, Mr. Wright? No offense, but the only evidence that is relevant here is that which pertains to the death of the ringmaster. You should know that by now. Urgh. Do something, Nick. Don't let this case slip away. The bust, where is it now? Hmm, where's the bust right now? You're Phoenix Wright. You know where the bust is, I'm sure you do. 
There's not even a single clue. How am I supposed to know where the bust is? Is it locked in the box? Is it locked in the wooden box? No, they, they opened the box already, right? That's how we found the pepper. It seems this case is coming to a close. Uh, the defense's counter arguments look to have fallen short. Thank you for your support. Urk. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Wright. I think that brings an end to the cross examination of this witness. So I'm gonna say hold it? Yes, someone said hold it. Thank you. Where is Max's bust? The defense needs time to prepare to present its lace. It lace? I mean, case. Sorry, I'm a bit nervous. I'm a bit nervous. I just bit my tongue. <laughs> huh? What? What? We need time to what? Why are you the most surprised person here? She's your aide, isn't she? Do you really have a case to present, Mr. Wright? Well, why are you asking me? The rest is up to you, Nick. Good luck. Hey, wait, you can't be serious. Acrobats always have their lives on the lines, don't they? That's how Acro's lived his life up until now. Now it's time for us to walk across our own tightrope. If we don't, we're certain to lose. Uh, very well, a defense may proceed. He doesn't have a clue. And I don't think he'll be finding one anytime soon. Walk in the tightrope of logic. There's no room for a false step. Sink or swim. The only way through is forward. That murder weapon. Where is Max's bus now? Uh, oh, we can actually save here. How about that? That's kind of rare. Someone lodging house. Someone in the big top. Someone in this courtroom? Wow, that's thinking outside the box. Although we are always told to think outside the box, right? Why would it be in the courtroom now? Where is the bus now? Oh wait, if it's in the box, it's in the courtroom. It's obvious, the bus is inside this very courtroom. Uh, it obviously, uh, where? And allow me to pinpoint the location of the bus once and for all. Um, it's, uh, how, how do I, how do I say, maybe it's not in the box. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. He's in a wheelchair. He's in a wheelchair. I bet you anything, it's in the wheelchair somehow. Brilliant. Acro. I'm sorry to ask this, but do you mind if I take the blanket off your wheelchair? It's so obvious! Oh, the dots. That is brilliant. He couldn't hide it, so he stored it. It wasn't in the box, it was in his wheelchair. I'm sorry, I didn't quite hear you, Mr. Wright. Well, you are a big guy, and you have a pretty big wheelchair because of it. I just wanted to make sure you weren't hiding anything under that blanket. I'm sorry, this music's beautiful. I still need to get this soundtrack. Because it seems to me that it's really easy to say, hide a bust under there. Ha, 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 Once again, your penchant for humor hits me where it hurts, Mr. Wright. I think it's pretty amazing that you can laugh in your position. However, your lightheartedness doesn't change the fact that the bust is under there. All the dots. We all know that you can't leave the lodging house by yourself in your condition. That proved inconvenient when Miss Van Karma happened to search your room yesterday. If she had found the murder weapon in your room, it would have been all over. Which is why you had to hide it in the only place that you could hide it. Under your wheelchair. 
all the dots. Which is why, Akko, I had to ask you again. Would you please remove the blanket from your lap? All the dots. Well done, Mr. Wright. Masterfully played. Huzzah! Ha 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 ha! We understand it now. You, you fool! How could you? Because he was trying to get away with murder, of course. No freak out, though. Yes, so need to get the soundtrack. You've got me. I've been bagged by a real pro. Actually, two of them. Two of them? I mean, Maya? Nope. Miss, Mr. Miss Francisca Van Karma. And Mr. Phoenix, right? What? There's just one thing I'd like to know. How did you know to launch a surprise search on my room last night? Oh, the questionable thoughts. There were two pieces of decisive evidence. The cloak and the bust. I burned the cloak in my room and threw the ashes away with the trash. Regina always took my trash out every morning, you know. But the bust. Obviously, I couldn't throw that away. When you executed your search, all I could do was try and hide the bust. And the only place that I could hide it quickly was under the wheelchair. Miss Van Karma, you had things all figured out, didn't you? I was completely sucked in by your calculated strategy. And now, to be caught in the middle of court hiding the murder weapon. There's no way I can escape that. Why does she get all the credit? Why don't we ever get any credit? There we go, thank you. So you've got me. Well done, Mr. Wright. Well done, Miss Van Karma. Hmm. It all makes sense now. I can't believe that Von Karma thought that far ahead. It's amazing. Uh huh. You definitely could tell by looking at her. I know I shortcut it. <laughs> I can't believe it. Me! Make a mistake! Why did I order a surprise search of your room? If only I hadn't done that. Oh, it seems we finally arrived at the truth. Echo. Yes, Your Honor. Did you kill the ringmaster of the Big Berry Circus, Mr. Russell Berry? Yes, Your Honor. I'm responsible for that crime. Acro. All the dots. All my brother wanted was for Regina to like him. That's why he teased her. One day, my brother sprinkled some pepper on Regina. She started sneezing so hard, you couldn't help yourself from laughing. That's why Regina thought it would be funny to get him back in the same way. And that's why she covered the scarf with pepper. I know she didn't mean for anything bad to happen. I know this. She just wanted to make my brother sneeze a few times, too. Oh my gosh. So Regina never had any malicious intent at all? Wow, I was really wrong about that. She was just supposed to have him sneeze. She didn't realize the lion. But I just couldn't forgive her, no matter what. What am I truly guilty of? I'm guilty of never, ever being able to understand her. Your brother became a star. Regina believes in that so purely that she will laugh innocently when saying it too innocently. I just couldn't stand it, no matter how hard I tried. That's when he decided to do something about Regina. How dreadful! So, are you saying that you were a victim in all of this as well? No, that's not what I mean. Aww. I'm nothing but a murderer. That's who I am. At first, I thought I'd kill myself. Then I pondered giving myself up. But I couldn't just up and leave. I just couldn't. Not yet. That's why I tried to pin this on Max. 
Max, I'm so sorry. I just, I just, I just couldn't up and yet leave yet. Hmm, this has been such a strange case. So much of reflection of the circus itself. I'm an idiot! I can't believe it. You beat me again! All the dots, please don't want me to unconscious this this time. I believe this case is now beyond any point of possible discussion. Thus, I'd like to declare my verdict. Not guilty. Uh, this court is adjourned. Woohoo! Man, was I wrong about my prediction earlier? Man, I, I was so off. Woo! I love this game. Even when I think I understand everything that's going on, I still don't. And that's that's so great about it. December 30th, 427 PM. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 5. Fabulous! But, to be honest, I can't really be too happy about this. Acro, the Ringmaster, Regina, and Bat. Not a single one of them was a bad person inside, huh? Well, that's a good question, and one I don't know the answer to. Many congrats! Only a max million of them! The thank you. All the dots. All the dots. What's with the vibe in this room? We're just thinking about Acro. No, 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 no. If you worry about people too much, then you'll be like this forever and never be happy. Huh? Ah! Poor girl. She's been like this for a while now. No, It's all my fault! Sweetie, sweetie pie. Bad acro! I'm never coming back! Oh, I was gonna split up! Regina. <laughs> Mr. Wright, tell me something. Well, what do you want to know, Regina? Acro said something right at the end. I just couldn't up and leave yet. D does that mean Acro? Is he gonna try and get his revenge on me? No, I don't think so. He's not gonna do that to you, Regina. Are you sure? Are you sure? I can believe that. Yep, Acro doesn't have any desire for revenge anymore. Well, that's true. Then I want to see some evidence. Huh? Oh dear god. So I got this wrong last time. I'm gonna get this wrong again, aren't I? I wanna know you're not just picking that stuff up about Acro and I want revenge! Oh. What do I choose? Oh, what do I choose? Um. I know I'm gonna get this wrong, and someone's gonna tell me the right answer, and then on the next episode, I'll include the dialogue that we missed because I get it wrong. Um, can't play the note, can it? Ah. Uh. What could it be? Um. Could it be bat? 
I honestly don't have a clue. I want to know you're not just making up that stuff about Aqua not wanting revenge. Oh, is it because you put the pepper inside? I don't know. I, I'm i going to go with bat. I, I don't have an answer. I, I have no idea what the answer possibly could be. Uh, Someone please in the comments, let me know the explanation why. Not just what to choose here, but why it's the thing to choose. Because I want to uh, I want to be able to show those both, both off in the next video. Akko didn't want to get caught for a reason. He wanted to see his brother open his eyes again. But Bat? Wait, was that actually the right answer? That's right, Regina. He's still alive, you know. I... I never knew. But now that aqua has been caught... Uh-huh. I know. What? I'll do it. I'll stay next to Bat as long as it takes. Oh, that's sweet. Until he opens his eyes, and then until he can meet Akko again. I think that's actually the right answer. Holy cow. That's so sweet of you, Regina. I'm sorry, Akko. I'm sorry, Bat. And I'm sorry, Regina. I ever doubted you. I had you pinned multiple times in this case. Well, hopefully this is enough to give her a little peace of mind. Hey, Max. What is it, Mo? We really put you through a lot, didn't we, buddy? I'm sorry about what happened. So whenever you'd like to leave us, I'll pay your fee and rip up the contract. I understand. What a fabulous thing for me to do. I might even leave tomorrow. Oh, the ducks. What's going to happen to the circus now? Ah, uh, well that's the big question. Our ringmaster was really an amazing person, wasn't he? Oh, the questionable dots. Even though he's not here anymore, everyone is sticking together. The staff, the performers, no one wants to leave the circus. That's why I made a decision. What is it? Well, I decided that I will take over as the new ringmaster. Oh, turn the circus to the best circus this world has ever seen. Oh, the dots. The best circus the world has ever seen. D -d -d Don't laugh. That's quite the goal. Yay, I can't wait. Well, then I guess that changes things. Huh? There's only one thing the best circus this world has ever ne seen needs. The world's best illusions. Which means this circus is the best magician the world has ever seen. Max? Let's work together and make our circus super fabulous! Ah, what do you say, big guy? I don't know what to say. All I can say is thank you. Um, Regina? You're gonna help him out too, aren't you? Um, I don't know. Maybe the circus would be better off without me. What are you talking about, Regina? Why do you think that I brought you to court today? Uh... We've got to work together to make the very big circus bigger than it's ever been. Are you gonna change the name to the Very Bigger Circus? Because that would be pretty funny. Momo! Mo's right, sweetie pie! It can't be the baby circus without Regina Barry! M Max? Nick? Well, it seems like everything is going to turn out all right here. I can't wait to see the big circus the world has ever seen. Oh, the best circus, sorry. We'll save you the most fabulous seats! Uh, it'll take us a while to get ready, but I'm going to order special whoopee cushion seats! <laughs> How'd I know he was gonna laugh? And laugh. And laugh. And thus. As the old saying goes, the world does not end with a bang, but a whimper. Or in this case, a laugh. 
I see. What made the case? Well, yes, the surprise raid really paid off just like you thought it would, sir. Um, you had it all figured out, didn't you? It was just a theory. If Akro really was the killer, I thought this was the only way it could end. Especially if he was the defense attorney. You mean Mr. Wright? This has to be, uh, Miles, right? Of course. Well, Detective, my plane is about to leave. As for Mr. Echo's case, you need not worry. I plan to personally stop by the Chief Prosecutor's office as soon as I get back. Ah, it is Miles is alive! Understood, sir. I'll be waiting for you, Mr. Edgeworth. Ah, he's alive! I'm so happy. Episode 3, turn about Big Top, the end. Yes! It's good to see Edgeworth alive. Oh, man. And look who we have on the screen. Farewell, my turnabout. Brand new episode has been added, episode four. All right, my friends. Well, my name is Avalis Burr. This is your story based game channel. And this was a blind let's play of Phoenix Riot Ace Attorney Justice Wall. I love you all so very much. I want to say, uh, regardless of when you're watching this, I hope you have a wonderful week. But if you're watching this when it is released, hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Uh, this is, for me, the best time of the year. It really is. I get to spend a lot of time with my family. I get to uh, celebrate one of the greatest miracles that have ever happened. And it's just, it's, it's, it's really a blessed time of the year. But I know, I know that not everyone has a blessed time at Christmas time. I know what statistics say um, about depression, because I personally have experienced depression. I understand that Christmas is not the happiest time of the year for everyone. So if you're kind of down at this time of year, let me just say this, and that is that you are loved and that you matter. And you matter to me. And so even though I'm only one person in the world, just know that there's someone who cares for you and wants you to be happy and wants you to be the best version of you every single day. And having experienced depression, having experienced pain, um, I, I know what you're going through, but you are loved and you do matter. And never forget that because you do at least to me. Thank you as always for everyone. Uh, I'm going to take probably a couple days off because of the holiday season. And we'll be back with more Phoenix Wright is Attorney very soon. For now, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter. You are brilliant and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.